Ferris Bueller might become the next president because of how smart he is. I'm in sound and I saw Ferris Bueller's Day Off. It is written and directed by John Hughes. And if you've not seen this movie, I will spoil it for you. If you're not familiar with Ferris Bueller's Day Off, he has nine absences and his school is like, yo, you gotta come to school. And he's like, no, you know what I'm gonna do instead? I'm gonna hack into the computer system and make it so I have no absences so my parents don't know. And I think that's genius. This is the 80s and he's hacking into school directories? Uh, big brain. His parents should be sending him off to some other school. Not just this random public school. Send him to like big brain school so he can become a president. But no, his parents are like, uh, yeah, we're just gonna be none the wiser. We're not we're gonna really care about Ferris. We're not gonna engage him. Oh, he's sick. Oh, oh man. That's poor him. He's sick all the time. That's crazy. Oh man. Ferris Bueller is tricking them. He's tricking everyone. All he wants to do is hang out with his friends. He creates an elaborate system full of pulleys and all that fun jazz. Like if a parent opens the door, he has like a sleeping uh, mannequin there. It goes zzzz. Zzz. It's like a whole what is those oh, Goldberg machines? What are those called? He goes to his friend is like, hey, can I borrow that really nice car that your dad has? His friend's like, uh, no, because it's my dad's car and it's his prized possession. He loves it more than me. Ferris Bueller is able to swindle his way into getting that car and being able to use it for the afternoon. And you know what he does with this car? He goes like in a parade and starts dancing all the place. I'm like, that's more fun than public school? Oh, uh, where everyone's just sleeping all the time. The villain of this movie is the principal trying to get Ferris Bueller. But of course, Ferris Bueller is much smarter than his principal. This principal is trying to race to his parents' house and also Ferris Bueller is trying to race to his house because his parents are coming home from work. And so we have a fun act of running through the lawn scene, just running through a bunch of lawns. And this is so memorable because I've seen this movie twice and I just remember this because he just goes through so many lawns just not caring at all about personal boundaries, which is very bold, very risky. He's risking those people telling the parents that he did this. But luckily, I don't think his parents are very social. They don't seem like the type to be. They're kind of workaholics. There's no indication that they socialize with their neighbors. So I'm thinking that Ferris knows this and he's just going to bet on the neighbors not telling the parents. I think it's more naivete more so than stupidity when he's not able to reverse the mileage when going reverse. It's like, it's not working, it's not working. What, why can we do this? And then, uh-oh, the, the little, whatever it's called, the stopper underneath the tire, that goes out under them and then causes a bunch of damage. And I'm like, uh-oh, he just got his friend screwed over. Hmm, very presidential. Do you wanna know why I think he's a president? Because he's able to convince everyone that is not Ferris Bueller's fault for all of this. Instead, he's able to get actual blame placed on his nearby friends and he's clear of any blame at all. He appears sickly, he appears like he's always been home, but his surrounding friends are the ones who actually suffer with Ferris Bueller's actions and they have to suffer the consequences. He is able to race home just in time and the principal looks like a big old doofus head. And that's because Ferris Bueller is so much smarter he doesn't need public school. He doesn't need it at all, okay? Have Ferris Bueller take an IQ test? Does anyone know Ferris Bueller's IQ? Does John Hughes say what his IQ is? I think that every actor is pretty memorable. I remember Ferris Bueller, I remember his friend, I remember his girlfriend, I remember the principal. They all just like look different. And also the parents, they look like parents. They look like a, a parents of Ferris Bueller. Ferris Bueller looks way too smart for them. And I like all of their outfits. And honestly, they're very distinct. I am the worst with names. I don't remember their names, but I remember their clothing. 
honestly. Does this movie hold up? Yes, it sure does. Watch it again, I think it still holds up. I feel a lot of satisfaction with Ferris Bueller being able to come home and not get any punishment for what he did because he was smart about it. And it makes me have hope, okay? And it makes me feel that love and joy again. I just like this movie a lot. Tell me in the comments what you think of Ferris Bueller's Day Off. When did you first saw it? What it made you feel? Let me know what you think in the comments below. I like this movie a lot. It holds up, so I'm gonna give it a solid 7.8 out of 10. If you like this review, watch another one. The platform really likes that. If you want a fast track movie review, you can do that for $20 dinos. Patreon.com slash ASC Presents. And if you like to help support the daily grindiness of all the daily movies, go to this link tree, find the way you can help support the daily grind of all them daily movies, so you can go here. And until next time, I'm in Sound Sauce. See you later to my Sound Croutons and Bacon Bits. Oh, I forgot. I don't have my keys on me. I guess I'll just have to go run. still here? It's over. Go home. Go.